All right. Today is a very special day. It's April 1st, or as my little friend likes to call it, April Fool's Day. So he wanted to join me for this word problem, and he got so excited that when he heard he was going to be part of the problem that he did this. <laughs> okay, so now that we got that out of the way, the word problem uh, for today, if you are watching it now, that means that you've already gone on to Google Classroom, you've read the problem in Google Classroom, you've solved the problem in your math notebook, you wrote out, uh, showed your work, um, how you figured it out, and you have an answer statement. So now you're watching this with me so that you can check over your work. And of course, so that you can see that guy. All right, let's get serious now. The STEM club at school is growing strawberries. There are 10 strawberry plants. Four plants each produce nine strawberries, and the rest of the plants each produced eight strawberries. How many strawberries did all 10 plants produce? Now, produce means that they grew them, okay, just in case that confused you. So they're telling you that there are 10 plants. Four of the ten produce nine strawberries, and the rest produced eight strawberries. So how many strawberries did all ten plants produce? All right, so my little friend here, he says, well, we got to think about this. There's ten total plants, so I'm going to do this. To have a model, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten. Four of the plants, one, two, three, four, each produce nine strawberries, and the rest, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, produced eight strawberries. Hmm. So I see that there are one, two, three, four nines. So I could do four times nine plus one, two, three, four, five, six times eight. I do four times nine. Okay. Four of the plants had nine, and six of them had eight. If I knew, know my nine facts, which I know that you guys know four times nine, you could skip count. You could do nine, 18, 27, 36. You could skip count with your eights. Eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Now I just have to add them up because they want to know how many strawberries did they have in all. So I can add my 10s, my 30, and my 40 and get 70. And I can add my 1s, 6 plus 8 is 14, plus 8 and then I add my 70 and 14, so 70 and 10 is 80 plus 4. Now, I need to go back here because I realized something here. This is actually my equation. I'm going to put equals S for strawberries. All right. You really need to practice, and I really need to practice with you, making sure we write our equations because sometimes they will ask you which equation shows this situation. So 4 times 9 plus 6 times 8 equals S for strawberries. So I have an 84. Is that my answer? Well, kind of. We have to write an answer statement, though. So how many strawberries did all 10 plants produce? All... 10 plants produced 
strawberries. Or if you said something like there were 84 strawberries in all, but you need an answer statement. So when you type this into your Google form, don't just type in 84, because what I'm going to start doing, instead of having to keep asking you to resubmit, is I'll just give you partial credit for it. Okay? You should be ready by now, and you should know by now, that you write an answer statement, especially in the Google form when I say, write an answer statement. Okay? So listen to my little friend the pig and write an answer statement. Have a good April Fool's Day.